So I've got a few more tests to run today. The first of which is this little SE5. Um, by I've forgotten their name. Oh dear. SE5 by FS Adney. That's uh, downloaded from the flightsim.to. And I'm guessing it's, you know, it's a work in progress, obviously. I say that because the textures are pretty weird. I do like the gun though, that's nice. So have a quick look around. Looks a bit thin. But a true to realism model. Propeller's a bit fat. And you can still see the uh, spinny blade there. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty basic model. I uh, don't know what I'm doing in in my uh, day jobs uh, uniform there. That's a bit out of place. But yeah, the Lewis gun's probably the best model thing on there, to be honest. Even though it is a bit big, because obviously... If that's the size of the pilot, then that Lewis gun is... about 10 feet long, so... There's something hinky going on there somewhere, I'm not too sure which one it is, whether it's... the pilot's far too small, or... the aircraft's incorrectly modelled, or there's some sort of zoom problem going on. But, yeah, that's very strange. My pilot, me the pilot in there, is about <laughs> two foot, two and a half foot tall. And those those people there are normal sized, and I'm very, 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 very tiny. So that's a bit weird. I'm not too sure what's going on there. I'm guessing if I was the right size, I wouldn't fit in the cockpit, so... Yeah, a bit strange. I'm not too sure why or what's going on, but... I mean, the dolls look about the right size for that guy there, or that guy there, but for me, they're just the size of my head. Yeah, so, uh, like I say, obviously there's something not quite right there with the, uh, the, the old graphics. So I, I was going to try and fly it from Lyme Airfield, but the problem with Lyme is it's not there anymore, it's been turned into a field. And to the west of the field, or the western part of the field, is um, an industrial estate. You can still see the runway, we're going to fly over it, and I'll show you the runway, what's left of it, it's overgrown now with trees and stuff. But that was the place they delivered the aircraft to in France, and aircraft coming back from France landed at Lyme, so... It was like the start-off and return point for aircraft going to France from Britain during the First World War. I think from 1915 onwards. So we'll go fly over Lyme airfield, and we'll see what it's all about. Apart from that, everything seems to work okay. And it seems to be only the top ailerons are modelled, that's a shame. OK, let's have a look inside the cockpit then. So it's pretty basic in here, as one would expect from the aircraft that's involved. I will of course put up some pictures of the real cockpit and you can compare it yourselves. But it's, uh, yeah, pretty basic. That's the throttle lever. That 
doesn't move um, manually, but it does move when you move your throttle lever. And no brakes apparently either, it's a shame. They're quite important for stopping. So let's see if we can get it going. Battery's on. My meters are on. I don't know what that is. This is supposed to be heat haze from the exhaust. But they, I do like the external sounds, the internal sounds are a bit rubbish, but external, that's lovely. Yeah, very nice. So well, let's just put that down to some sort of heat haze type effects and not some sort of smoke emissions thing here, yeah, I don't know what that is. But it's on both sides so... Although the old snowflakes aren't on both sides, it's just on that side. So we're already wobbling a bit and we're just sitting here, so that's... That reminds me of that, um, that old fucker that came out a few months ago. They used to wobble when you just sat there on the time, okay. Well, let's see what happens when we try and fly. Now we do appear to have brakes, it's just I can't see them inside the cockpit, so no animation for them, but they do appear to work. So let's get take up the mission. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. We don't have a radio. Okay. So, no one's going to know what we're doing, and we're not going to know what they're saying, so that's good. Can't get in trouble if you can't hear them. Ah, that's a problem. Yeah, this is all over the place. It's refusing to just fly, it just doesn't well, go straight. Let's try that again.
Yeah, it's safe to keep taxi speeds down very low. Well, let's try that again, but it's not looking good. It's a bit like trying to fly a parachute in a strong wind. Not very good. Okay, this on the nose we did go down, that's good. We're still slewing off to the right there for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, I do like the idea of the old um, turbulence uh, coming out of the exhaust. I really do. It's a really nice little touching effect. I just can't get my head around the pilot being three foot tall. I just didn't through it. So let's make our way up to the line and uh, you can have a look at the old airflow. Uh, or we'll land on some farm strip that was nearby. Oh, that's a bit annoying. The old uh, 
Yeah. It's smoothed down the white points and slipped through the lines. Uh, down. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to You can see France over there in the distance, to be honest. That's France. So that's the industrial complex over there, just through the wings. And the fields to the right of it here. That is the old Lime airfield, so we're going to go and try and land on it. And, well, let's look at a bit. We'll do a flyover first. The main airstrip and some of the stuff at the south, so we'll just do a bit of that. So if we get an industrial compound, this is basically what the pilots would have seen as they were coming back from France. It's only 20 miles, so what, a 20 minute trip from that? Yeah. So that's the main airfield strip there. The secondary over here. And then the western side has been built on by this dust. I'll try and come in down this way, I suppose. But is that sheep? Sheep is it?
So the old lime airfield. And to be honest, I don't want to fly this much longer, it's terrible. It's okay as long as you're flying straight and level. As soon as you start trying to manoeuvre it, it's a land at you, it's just an absolute nightmare. Landing and takeoff is just so deadly, it's ridiculous. Let's try, let's, let's try another takeoff again. Probably good for that. So this may be a bit of a risky thing to do, but I'm going to try and mimic trying to evade being shot down in it and see what happens. I'm going to use almost full power. That's what I thought was going to happen. So unfortunately I can only give that one very low marks. I mean, 5 out of 10 for effort. It's not, it's not consistent. Well, the first time I tried to take off, the nose wouldn't even pull, well the toe wouldn't come up and the nose wouldn't go down, so the second time it was completely different. It, the nose went down at 10 miles an hour. So, um, it's a shame, we'll have to wait and see, we'll get a nice, better new version, this already had, it's already on its second version, it was released two days ago, and the new version of that came out today, so, hopefully we'll get some more modifications, and it'll be much easier and better to fly. Here's hoping. <laughs> 